Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make some basic motion graphics transitions in Blender. So, for a quick overview of this tutorial, we're going to be adding a couple of shapes, just a few circles, then we're going to insert some keyframes for them, jump into the graph editor and smooth out the animations, and then we're going to add some colors and materials and we'll be finished creating our basic transitions. So, let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is you want to delete the default cube. By typing X and clicking delete, type numpad 7 on your keyboard to go into top view and type control alt and numpad 0 to bring the camera into that view. So now that we have our basic scene set up, we can now add in our shapes. Shift A and uh, once this dialog pops up, hover your cursor over curve and click circle. And we'll go into the right of the screen here and in the curve object data tab here you want to click 2D and we'll put the resolution up to 75. Go into the materials section and click new to add a new material. Click shapeless and now we'll go into material view and uh, at this point we're going to type in on our keyboard click display and Let's see, uncheck outline selected and the grid floor. So now we're just going to pull this along the X axis by left clicking on the red arrow and just pulling this out to the side. And we're about to start animating it. So turn on AV Sync, go into the render settings tab and change your frame rate to 60 frames per second. Now that we have our frame rate set up, we can now start animating. So let's jump to a later frame in the animation and make our circle really big. Let's jump to say frame 95 and uh, type S on your keyboard and move your cursor out and just size that up really big and left click and type I and now click scaling. Now rewind to a previous frame like say frame 59 type S and then zero and then enter and now type I on your keyboard and click scaling so we've inserted a keyframe for the scaling at frame 59 for it to be really small and then we have that keyframe inserted at frame 95 for it to be fairly big but we want a more smooth animation and to do that we're going to go into the graph editor before we do that we're going to shift D to duplicate this and right click to cancel that movement and just Type M on your keyboard and click the layer below this layer here. And that's just so that we have our extra object in case we uh, in case we have errors with the animation of our original object once we start to get into the graph editor. So right click on your original circle, split the screen, and go to the graph editor. You can use your middle mouse button to uh, pan around here and use the scroll wheel to zoom in or out and uh, you can see we have our handles here what we want to do is type A to deselect them and we will right click on this handle here and type B and left click and drag the box over our handle and type C and just hold your middle mouse button and that'll deselect these handles here, leaving this handle selected. So type G and move your cursor up to move this handle up. And left click. Just move it out here a little bit. And left click. And now you can see we should just get it our animation starting up, and then this little curve here is gonna give it a little bit of a bounce. So let's rewind. You can see there's like a slight bounce before it stops. So what we want to do is we're going to lower this by typing G and moving our cursor down. Like so. And left click. And now it should just kind of smoothly go out. Hold A. 
and that looks pretty good so now we have one smooth circle I'm going to shift D and move this over here and left click and always make sure you have this cursor selected here so it should have coloration in the background when it's selected because this makes sure that you're only editing the keyframes of the object that you have selected so if you right click on this one here you can right click on the handle type B and just pull a box select over it and then type C on your keyboard hold your middle mouse cursor deselect these handles keep this handle selected and type G and just move it out a little bit so G X just G and left click and if you rewind and play you can see we have a little bit of more faster but still pretty smooth animation so that's another animation revision we've got there so we're gonna shift D and move this one over here far out of view and left click to confirm that I'm going to right click back on this one and adjust the handle some more. So type G. Just move it in here and left click. And now we're going to type C. Circle select all of that. And then hold your middle mouse button and deselect this here. And right click. And then type G. Actually select this back use your um just left click and uh, if at any point in the tutorial you don't know what keys or clicks to press it you can take a look at this box over here and it will mostly accurately show you what we're clicking and typing so let's deselect this here by middle mouse button and right click to cancel that and GX and that will just move that a little bit further along and left click rewind and play that and that looks pretty good so far one thing we're going to do is we're going to give this a little bit of a, a little bit of easing over here so just type B and pull a box over this here you can see we've got a lower handle kind of down here Let's see, we're going to pull it up a little bit and we're going to type C and deselect this by middle mouse cursor clicking on this here and this and right click this type G and that curve you see it's going to give it a little bit of easing when it comes in and left click. And this is looking pretty good. So we got our basic circles here. Shift D and duplicate this and move it off to the side and left click. So if we use our mouse button to pan around, you can see we've got quite a couple of animations um, from animated circles. So what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of stylize with them a bit and then we'll be finished. So Let's see, right click on this circle and we're going to shift D this, right click to cancel the movement and move it to the second layer by typing M on the keyboard and left clicking on the second layer. So select that layer and uh, go into the material section and click this plus to make sure this is its own material and we'll type transition. Left click to exit that mode and uh, now we're going to make the material let's see you make it in any color you want actually we're gonna go with red we're gonna actually uh, shift D to duplicate this right click cancel the movement and left click on the uh, X axis arrow which is here and uh, just pull that to the side of the screen here and now if you play this up you've got kind of a nice smooth little circles closing in on each other that looks, that looks really nice now we can shift D to duplicate this right click it to cancel the movement click plus to uh, make this have a different material 
pull the color value down so it's a little bit darker and we're going to go into the dope sheet which is another area where you can edit keyframes but uh, in this area we can just move them along the timeline rather than dealing with the handles so since we've already added the handles the main thing we want to do now is shorten or lengthen our animations which is just a little bit easier to do in the dope sheet so left click on this to make sure you only have the keyframes of the object you have selected here and type A on your keyboard and A again rewind throughout this animation and we are going to let's see we're going to make this animation take a little bit slower so type S 1.5 and enter so if you rewind move that up you can see we have our slightly slower animation so let's uh, GZ.001 and enter and I'll just make sure we keep our object in front of the um, the bright red we have there and shift D to duplicate this right click cancel the movement move this off to the side here let go of uh, left click and just alt A and play that through and we now have the um, we now have a little bit more color in our scene so we can add we can really add one more color and I'm thinking white so right click on the right click on the um, light red you have here right click to cancel the movement and hold down shift and then type L and then click material and we'll just select everything that has the same material which is just the other circle and type GZ minus 0 0.01 and then type enter now we'll shift D to duplicate these right click to cancel the movement and click plus again and uh, make the color white or let's see let's make it a light red and we'll go with white so this brighten that up a bit make it white and control L and uh, click materials and that'll just link the materials that we have there so we're gonna make this animation a lot faster than our previous animation so we're gonna type A and then A again we're gonna type S and then point 5 in the graph editor so now there's a shorter time between the keyframes which means the animation is faster so type enter So we just have it kind of, we just have those circles kind of come out and it's a little bit too fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to type S 1.7, type enter. Using my mouse button to pan around and then type GZ 0 0.001 and enter. Just to make sure that we've got our white circles in front of our red circles and type numpad 0 and rewind and play this back so this looks fairly good so we're pretty much finished making these basic circular transitions so if you found this tutorial helpful leave a comment below and uh, if you like this tutorial you can leave a like and if you're interested in sharing some cool blender tips around you can share this tutorial so um, again, if you have any suggestions for any more tutorials or any more things you would like to see us do in Blender, you can leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and you can also check out our links in the description below to check out some Blender kits we have. So we have a tutorial also on how to render this out into a video in the description just in case you're wondering how to do that. So again, thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials from partners in crime.